Welcome to Sunday. The presentation is complete. Thank God. Have you ever seen so that wasn't very fun. Uh, about two hours of preparation and then an hour to get everything said how I kind of want it said. Uh, last night I went online and found a um, teleprompter application because I don't want to memorize stuff and it's supposed to be off the cuff, but how do you get something within 15 seconds of five minutes or whatever the time limit is, how do you get that to be off the cuff and, and be perfect? You don't. And maybe that's the whole goal of this class is to be able to do that. And well, I screwed over the whole system, but I should get an A plus for that. I'm a business major. That's what business is about, is screwing over the system. Um, so I used this app and just started a recording in the background that I knew I was going to be able to edit. So I just went through it a couple times, picked what cut was best, and it ended up being four minutes and 39 seconds. So it's got to be four minutes and 45 seconds to five minutes and 15 seconds. So I played the whole video back at 94% speed. <laughs> or uh, wait, I guess that would be, yeah, 94% speed to slow it down to make it longer. So it's four minutes, 45 seconds, and nine frames out of 30 frames per second. And YouTube rounds that up to four minutes and 46 seconds. So my time requirement will be a 10 out of 10. Now, is it noticeable? It's very minorly noticeable to me. I know video editing and I did it so I know it's there. But for anybody else, I don't think they're gonna be able to distinguish and notice that I slowed it down. It just sounds like I'm talking a little bit more uh, in, a, in an articulated way, I guess I'll, I might say. Found some trash in my yard. Um, so I just submitted that online and I think I probably dressed it up too much, um, but that's okay. It's not trash, it's actually, I think it's a phone book. Phone book. Remember these? Who uses these? If you want to call a pizza place in your city, do you A, go to your kitchen and find your phone book, look it up and dial the number, or B, do you ask Siri for pizza, or C, do you go to Google slash the Maps app and type in pizza? Leave it in the comments below. So anyways, I just submitted that outline, references, cover sheet, APA format. Uh, that took a while to format and get typed out, so all of that's done. We're supposed to have speaking notes, but I see no place to upload or submit those, so I haven't done that yet. I think everything that's due this week, which is Sunday at midnight, it's 5.25, so in a couple hours, is submitted. Next week I have to submit a self-critique, which of course you always give yourself about an A- on, uh, or an A on, so I'll do that. If you give yourself an A plus, it's just obvious that it would be very difficult to get an A plus in this unless you really do a lot of professional speeches like this. Um, we got lots of shit down here. So, and then the week after that, uh, the only stuff do is critiquing four of our peers' speeches, and we'll see how this goes. But I'm very glad to have that done. Now I've got the rest of the weekend, all seven hours of it, stress free. Um, car is pretty clean, so I don't need to worry about that. Three series is dirty, and I don't need to worry about that. Um, it's supposed to rain on Tuesday, so I'll probably be driving that this week. Yards-wise, there's leaves out the ass back here, so I'm going to have to blow this off tomorrow before I mow it, um, especially back there, and then we'll do the rest of the yards. And they finally slowed down a little bit, I think, so maybe we'll be able to uh, be a little bit more chill with that. So hope your Sunday is going well. That's where I stand. Uh, I had to upload this to YouTube, it's on the E39 source account, but in my name of that, so nobody else can view it, plus it's unlisted and everything's disabled on it. And then I submitted the link. So wish me luck. Hey, it's 1.16, uh, about the same time I wrapped things up last night. Um, just spent some time, I talked to Luke for maybe an hour and a half, uh, got bored doing that, so we did a quick code of Z8 on Das Ampfumpf. Hadn't done that for a while, so. Nice and shiny now. I only drove it yesterday since I um, cleaned it up. Was that Friday night, I think, or Saturday or Thursday? It was Friday night. And um, it's amazing just how I probably drove it maybe 20 miles tops, 15, 20 miles. And it's just right back here. It's like it, once the first pass you make with C6 and a towel, you just see how dirty the rest of it is. Otherwise, you don't really see it. But my God. Huge tires in the back just throw up so much stuff and the amount of carbon on the back and stuff. So that's nice and clean now. Looks great. Um, should be driving it tomorrow. There should be or could be rain in the forecast on Tuesday. So we'll take the 330. I haven't really driven that for a while. Uh, I haven't driven it to count anyways for a while. Um, 
All the assignments are done for the week. Sunday night checkpoint, things look great, no debts. So that's good. Monday, tomorrow, opening a new chapter. Oh, friggin' rights, hallelujah, Jesus. That's gonna be a fun week. Um, actually, not as bad as this past, so that's good news. I have that one advising, advising appointment on Tuesday, so we'll get in and take care of that. Um, usually those only take about 30 minutes, so no big deal. Uh, typical Wednesday, typical Thursday, lunch with Joe. Um, looking forward to that already. The only thing that's kind of pending right now is um, I, I ordered a band for the Swiss Army watch, the finger, that I got back this past week. And I ordered the band a week before I, I even sent it to Utah to be repaired. And uh, they said they, I gave them my credit card and everything. And There's no charges on my account and I have no band. So I'm gonna have to call tomorrow and see what the heck's going with that, chase somebody down. Uh, Cause I would like to get that and put it on there. The one on there is not in great shape and now I've got a nice perfect case and working watch and I want it to look nice. So it's only 30 bucks too. So I'll do that tomorrow, see where that's going. I need to renew my passport. Um, I'll be using that twice um, actually before January. So I'm excited about that, stay tuned. Um, I got my passport before we went on a cruise uh, in 2004. So I was only like 14. How old was I in 2004? 12? 11? I was young, and I don't even look like myself in the picture. Um, and when you're under, I don't know, 18, 16, they expire in five years. And the last time I left the country was in 2009. We went down to Aruba for 10 days, just off the north coast of South America. And I haven't used it since, though so it was still valid then, six years, five years later, it's not. So I need to renew that, that's expensive and takes six weeks. So I'm gonna to try to stop into the post office tomorrow or early this week and figure out what I have to do. There's a form, something DS-82 form you've gotta fill out, but if you were under 16 when you got your passport, you have to do it in person, obviously update your photo, stuff like that. So I'll try to take care of that this week, at least get the paperwork going and see what I can get done with that. I, I have it in here, I don't think I can show you though, there's just too much personal information on a US passport. Um, let's see, maybe I can just show you my photo on there. Here it is, old school passport. Um, hold on. Oh boy, there we are. I don't see anything too important on that amount of information. That was me in 2000 and issue date 2007. So things look different now and it's time to get a new one. Um, I would guess they give you the whole book, but let's see what I have stamped in here. And they didn't go in order of pages, which is annoying. I saw one. Let's see. July of 07, Quintana Roo, Mexico. That's the state in Mexico where Cancun is. We went to Cancun. Um, let's see. Keep going. What do we got? Here's two. Jamaica. We went to Jamaica one year. There's Aruba. So Jamaica, Aruba, and Cancun. Those may be the only three that got stamped on the cruise. I don't think they stamped every island that we visited because we did Kits and Barts and Barbados and Grenada and a bunch of different islands down there. I've uh, been to Aruba twice. It was supposed to be three times, but on our cruise, we didn't make it. I think it was the cruise. We didn't make it to Aruba because of uh, bad weather. They couldn't bring it into port or something. No, we did get to Aruba. We didn't get to Curacao. Because we were doing, not all, we didn't get to Bonaire, but we did, we we're supposed to do Curacao, but we couldn't get in, so we had a day at sea. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go up, get a shower, get to bed, do the nightly stuff, and I'll talk to you on Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend, and good luck starting off your week.